here in the A, where the players play. It's Pitt against Michigan State. Pitt out of the ACC, Michigan State out of the Big Ten at 11 and 2 and 10 and 2, respectively. Meanwhile, for Michigan State, Mel Tucker, the orchestrator of one of the biggest turnarounds in all of college football this season. He resurrected that Michigan State program a year ago, winning just two games this year, trying to become the sixth Spartan team to win 11 games in a season. What a year it was. And toe meets leather, we are underway in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Oh, it stopped at the one, and they had to field it. Abanacanda wasn't ready. He assumed it was gonna go into the end zone with its momentum, Robert, but man, that thing stopped like a wedge shot at about the two-yard line. Yeah, look at that, he hasn't thrown more than five passes in a game. And this isn't Delaware that he's facing this time. Third and ten quickly. Patty with the play fake. Whips it downfield for Addison, incomplete. Kirk Christodoulou punting from the shadows of his own goalposts. Averaging 41 yards per punt, gets off a nice high spiral, and it's returnable at the 45. Reed trying to cut it back inside the 30, down to the 29. And big part of Mel Tucker's offense. And you see Michigan State here rushing to the line to avoid that third down package by Pitt. Thorne got one-on-one -on -one coverage, and it's caught! Touchdown, Reed! Just a beautiful job by offensive coordinator Jay Johnson. Well, you can already see the ramifications of them coming out and running fast because Pitt had to be ready in case they did it again and didn't quite get all the personnel changes they wanted. The guys on the field this time. Pass complete for the first down out to the 39 40 yard line. Jalen Naylor. First and five. Joiner options out of the backfield. Little receiver screen to the tight end. Carr. Carr running like a truck downfield to the 28 yard line. Both of them with connects to D'Antonio, the former coach for the Spartans. Thorne going to take out his do it yourself kit and runs it all the way down to the 11 yard line. Another first down, they're going to spot it back at the 13. And Coglin shoots it right through. Knocks it right through from 36. And the Spartans take a three-point lead, 10 to 7. Quarterback number two, Nick Patty. But Davis Bevel, after Patty was injured earlier. On the blitz, off the corner, they get to him, back at the 30-yard line. Third and five for the Spartans. Underneath, complete. Some important yak, some yards after the catch by Keon Coleman. The play fake, little pressure off the edge, downfield on the post! What a catch by Naylor! Reaching behind! First and goal for Michigan State. Blitzing off the edge. Bevel got rid of it. And out of bounds. He felt that heat ended up on his backside there. Draymond told me that Michigan State's a, a football school a little bit now. Did he? Yeah, have just a little. Have you seen the tape? <laughs> <laughs> that pass complete to the edge. I, I will say this Great about Great route run by Mosley for the first down. For all it was worth. And Really flipped the script this season. Got a bunch of wins and had his quarterback Thorne doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Runs for the first down. Jordan Addison was a quarterback in high school. Maybe he gets out there and does it. They're bringing some pressure off the edge. They beat it with the screen. Addison couldn't squeeze it. He's their number one weapon. Their prolific Belitnikov winner. Instead, they come off the field on fourth and two. For this Pittsburgh defense. Doing a nice job, but they couldn't get the stop there. What a catch going up high. It was Trey Mosley. Only 40 rushing yards so far in the game for Michigan State on the ground. Simmons trying to add to it here. Picks up about six and gets the first down. Teachers go to CFP Extra Yard on behalf of all of us. Thank you, teachers. A spirited run by 
Jordan Simmons and giving them an opportunity to actually run underneath it. Okay. Drop it in the bucket a little bit more like we showed in the broadcast earlier. Connor Hayward on the fake, and he'll pick up the first down. So Mel Tucker goes into his playbook a little bit and ends up gambling for the first down. Pickett opted out. Patty was injured on the second series. He's going to be sacked back at the 20-yard line by Jacob Slade. It's Monday Night Countdown, 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific. Bevel back to pass. Surveys, peruses, and finds Addison. Nope. Out to the 36, that's Jacques Louis. 6.40 to go in a lethargic scoring third quarter. Addison surrounded by bodies out to the 25. Bevel engulfed back at the 22-yard line. And another sack for that Spartan defense. Drew Beasley doing the honors that time for Michigan State. And they convert in a big hit at midfield. But Naylor, who got nailed, says, move those chains. Great friendship. Full support from Pickett for Patty. But Patty lasted two series. And now his backup, Bevel, is going to be sacked back at about the 20-yard line. It'll be third down and long. Gets it out quick, complete over the middle. First down at the 45 to Trey Mosley. Forever indebted to that man. Going over the middle complete. That's Naylor for another first down. Complete to his tight end. Connor Hayward still on his feet. And stepped out of bounds on the far sideline there. They're going to spot it at the 17. More than enough for the first down. Second and four. Horn going to take off on his own. And took a hit at about the five yard line. Thorne down the middle. Caught! Touchdown! What a grab! Connor Hayward went high. Oh, Michigan State needed that one, didn't they? And who'd they call on? They called on the hybrid himself, Connor Hayward. What a grab! Third and short. Boy, they line up in the eye. When was the last time you saw an eye formation? Fullback in the ball game to the wide side of the field. The toss. It's a foot race, and Davis will win it. Gross did. He's brought down both behind the 30. So it's going to be fourth and about three to go. Got to get to the 39 for the first down. And they get it done. Mr. Clutch, Jaden Reed, their leading receiver on the season. Height that up to about 70%. Thorne in the pocket delivers a strike. Let's see where they spot this. Keon Coleman. But at the end of the day, as a quarterback, put it between his numbers. Make him catch it. Make them hit him. These guys are paid to catch the football. Over the middle, caught. That's the big tight end, Malik Carr. Let's see where they spot this. Looks like he's got enough for the first down. As the clock winds down here in the fourth quarter, a little over three minutes to go, third down and ten for Michigan State. Thorne throws a dart complete to the 22-yard line. Jalen Naylor, first down and ten. It's gut check time. You just know. Big time players make big time plays in big time games, and this is a big moment. Jalen Naylor gets open. Hayden Thorne delivers a strike. Split into the boundary this time. Goes deep. The other side of the field. Caught. Touchdown, Reed. But there's a flag down. He rocked the baby to sleep and made the catch. Oh, Jaden Reed climbs the ladder, goes and gets the 50 50 ball. And 
there you go, Smarty. Not only do you get the touchdown, you get your pass interference call as well. Right here, Jaden Reed. Oh, my Lord. Look at him playing bigger, than, playing bigger than what his measurables say at six foot 185. He climbed that ladder like the best of them out there trying to be fancy like Applebee's. <laughs> Reed with his second touchdown catch of the day. They go trips right. Thorne over the middle. Caught, and they get it. Naylor with another catch. And it's a field goal game with 2.51 to play. A clutch drive by Peyton Thorne. Also one of the available tackles, too. Second and eight. Bevel going to be sacked, engulfed back at the 19 by Penichuk, who got up slowly just a moment ago. What Davis Bevel has to do a better job of is not eating up so much time off the clock. Over the middle, picked off into the arms of Halliday. And Halliday going to have a New Year's holiday. Room service, ring it up, Sparty. It must be a Merry Christmas because that's one happy holiday right there. Big time play, just shut it down. Is no stranger to that situation. He had a big pick six against Indiana earlier this year, and this one looks like it's going to seal the deal on the Spartans' 11th win of the season. Robert, he caught that thing in stride and took it back. He cribbed that thing 78 yards, leaving Pitt in tears. No one remembers anything else, mm. and the Spartans. Will now forever be remembered as being called champions. They're going to recover that kick and have possession of the football and really put this game on ice. White hustling downfield to the disgust of Coach Narduzzi and got to the football. The sea of green and white is excited right now to Jaden Reed and Michigan State will win its 11th game for just the sixth time in school history. How rewarding of a moment is this for Peyton Thorne to come out and showcase his talents on the grand stage. And now for tonight's Capital One rewarding performance. Yes, he had a fumble, but he bounced back and he showed true resilience. Peyton Thorne can be the guy for a long time. Let's go downstairs. A scene of jubilation downstairs. Final score 31 to 21. Folks, don't forget the SRS Distribution Las Vegas Bowl is coming up next for Robert Griffin the third Quint Kessenick and our entire crew behind the camera you never get a chance to see Happy New Year folks I'm Mark Jones right now to Las Vegas for Wisconsin and Arizona State.